What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video here on Pokemon Showdown. If you guys end up enjoying the video, all you have to do is give me a like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. It helps out my channel grow, and I really appreciate everything, okay? So before we start the match, I want to stress that I'm super excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We got some news regarding those games. Uh, they come out in November on the Nintendo Switch console. Very exciting. We got some news regarding Galarian Ponyta, which I think that was last week, but the news that was revealed the other day was all about Gigantamaxing. So I don't want to reveal the Pokemon that were Gigantamaxed in the video trailer. If you want to check it out, check it out by going to Serby.net or the Pokemon, the official Pokemon website. And I'm, I'm really intrigued by all the information. They're, they're doing their best to not reveal everything before the game comes out. And that's what they're striving for. However, I would like more information about the starter Pokemon that were revealed at the beginning. I, we don't know the middle stages or the final evolutions. I would like to get some insight on those, but when they do get revealed, I might, I might do a video regarding that. So. Anyways though, to the video here, we are doing Ubers today, aka the Legendary tier. Very awesome. I'm trying to use as much Mega Pokemon as I can. You can only Mega Evolve once per battle. So in this video, the focus is Mega Mewtwo Y. So I'm using him alongside Primal Groudon, a Dark Ride that's specially based. We have Scarf Ditto, which works wonderful in this tier, not gonna lie. We like to use it for copying the stats that the Pokemon on the other side get. For example, Salamence going for Dragon Dance, that could be a possibility. Uh, we got Xerneas, which is very common. Xerneas going for Geomancy. We'll copy that. And then potentially a Swords Dance Groudon as well. We see it as well, you know, it's, it's there, you know. You don't know much right now, but just to name a few Pokemon that we can copy and revenge kill, it's awesome to think about it. And then we also have Arceus Steel and a Rayquaza, which is not Mega, by the way. So don't go saying that I'm using a Mega Rayquaza here. On my opponent's team, he he has a Salamence and a Greninja, Swampert, Naganadel, Xerneas, and Primal Groudon. Two of those Pokemon can go Mega, obviously. We got Salamence that could go Mega, Swampert that could go Mega. Who's going to go Mega? Only one can go Mega. And we know what my Pokemon is, it's going to be Mewtwo. So, there you go, that is my analysis, so we'll go ahead and begin the match here. I'm really excited for this match because it was really entertaining now that I think about it. So the beginning here, I didn't know who I wanted to begin with, so I just start out with Ilo. I go for Moonblast on turn 1, hoping that he goes for Geomancy, and he does that right now. Like I said, we can use Ilo and copy those stats. In order for me to do this, I have to switch out and potentially sacrifice a Pokemon. So I chose Arceus Steel. I was hoping he didn't have Focus Blast. However, he has it. That's okay. I'm going, I'm going to go back into Dillo and transform into him again. But this time, I have the statistics from the Geomancy. So I have a plus two, plus two, plus two. Ready to rock and roll, but... We have Meganagale out here, so I go into Primal Groudon to resist the Poison Jab coming my way. It really doesn't do anything. He goes into Swampert. I get up my Stealth Rocks to discourage a little bit of switching from my opponent. I miss out my Pacific Blades, which is unfortunate. That's fine because he went for Waterfall. He forgot that the Harsh Sunlight is up or something. And then he goes for Outrage which really doesn't do anything. So I'm able to wipe out Swampert, who wasn't Mega, so it has to be a Salamence. 
who's going to be mega evolving in this battle for my opponent. Now here was kind of tricky because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I just go for the fire punch trying to catch something or do some ship to the Greninja. I wasn't really sure what he was going to do. That's why I went for that play. Otherwise I would have switched out into something but he goes for the Z power on the Ganagel. Really unfortunate because he has the beast boost. This will allow me to go into Mewtwo and Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo Y and use Psychic. Mega Mewtwo Y is extremely powerful and very fast as well, but I really don't want to risk being outsped by this Greninja here who's out here and we're going to transform into him to resist the Dark Pulse that's coming in our direction. It doesn't do that much damage and then I can go into something or use a move rather to damage him. So my choice is going for U-Turn, a really viable play in my own terms or by my own terms actually and this will allow me to go into Dark Ride and put him to sleep using Dark Void and this is great because I can potentially set up on him. I have Nasty Plot which I go for right here. Yep, the plus two with Dark Rye. However, he wakes up. I'm like, really? That was only one turn of sleep. But I go for the plus two attack, which is Dark Pulse, and I don't take him out. It's really frustrating if you think about it. That's okay. I can go into Mewtwo Y and use Ice Beam to outspeed him and knock him out. So yeah. <laughs> I go into Dillo here, it's pretty self-explanatory, we have Greninja out here, it's easy to just go into Dillo, transform into him, and pretty much take a little bit of chip damage, I think that was a critical hit, and I didn't want to switch out again, so I stay in on the Greninja, go for my own chip damage, and I flinch him, which is pretty awesome. I'm going to go for yet another Dark Pulse because I think at the HP range, I could take him out. He goes into Salamence next, and I'm like 100% sure he's going to Mega Evolve. And I'm like, alright, what are you going to go for? Are you going to go for the Dragon Dance or the Outrage? Either way, I really needed to sacrifice Rayquaza. This way, I can go into Dillo, and the reason I didn't go into Mega Mewtwo Y is because he might outspeed me. I didn't want to take the chance of him outspeeding me. And I have a Scarf Dillo in the back to revenge kill. So while Mewtwo only got one to two kills, I think Dillo did a lot of work in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We won this match 2-0 or 6-4 if you want to put it that way. I don't know, like, it really doesn't matter. I won the match and all that. So if you guys end up enjoying the video, all you have to do is give me a like and subscribe and I should have a new video sometime next week. I am pretty busy as of late so that's why there's not that many videos right now. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, Chinese.